everyone good morning bonjour everyone my research topic is the ambiguity of gender roles portrayed in the french short story long fee the effeminates cheap that by gide mopasan i'm charita lenege from the department of languages cultural studies and performing arts are you familiar with the expressions used within the sri lankan community such as ya harim cheap that which refers to the inexpensive clothing worn by rural sri lankan women or apo gani akwagi meaning he is like a woman used to describe men exhibiting behaviors associated with femininity have you ever wondered why certain negative traits are attributed to women when criticizing men's behavior can human behavior be categorized based on gender stereotypes The societal expectations encompassing masculinity and femininity have perpetually existed in a territory of ambiguity, subjectivity, and ever-shifting interpretations. Against that backdrop, this research aims to explore how the French author Guy de Maupassant addresses traditional notions of gender roles in his short story *Long Feet*. Our main objective is to identify instances of sexism, gender stereotyping, while discerning whether the author's perspective leans towards a misogynistic or misandristic approach. Guillaume Maupassant and his works. He is a renowned French writer born in 1850, known for his mastery of the short story genre. He gained popularity in the late 19th century and is considered one of the most influential French writers of his time. Maupassant's works often explored the complexities of human nature, society and human condition. He invites us to reflect upon the multifaceted aspects of identity, realistic societal norms and the consequences of defying convention. So to his name there are more than uh, 300 short stories such as La Parure, La Ficelle, Boule de Suif, Mademoiselle Fifi and then eight novels like in v pierre et jean bellamy and then some chronicles travel writings poetry and theater lofi which can be translated as the effeminate man in english or cheap that in singhala is a story set in the backdrop of 19th century parisian society a period characterized by significant social and cultural changes which narrates the life of a category of men in parisian society who are exhibiting feminine characteristics so this was initially uh, published in the magazine uh, gil bla on uh, march 13 1883 mm-hmm. under the pseudonym uh, mafrinus and later included in the collection toy So the text is not a traditional short story in the sense that it does not have a conventional plot twist however it offers a sort of archetype of what the realistic author calls homme fille the title is quite ambiguous these are not homosexuals or boys experiencing a difficulty in adapting a gender distinctions according to mopassan a multitude of men particularly in paris and in journalistic circles exhibit typically feminine behaviors and reaction at the same time misogyny in literature and philosophy is not a rare incident in this era a fine example would be the essay on women by german philosopher arthur schopenhauer in 1851 who emphasized the inferior position of women and mopassan grew up in this anti-feminist european society on the literature review researchers such as marian bari and noel bonhamu have discussed the place of women in mopassan's work and commented about mopassan's misogyny and fetishism while marie claire bonkar analyst she has analyzed mopassan's trouble with the modern woman as the fin de siècle invents it claire giro has attempted through her research to expose and analyze human relations through the exchanges between men and women in bourgeois society at the end of the 19th century by highlighting the consequences of the test of force in couples free or married regardless of romantic relationships she examines the intimate relationship of the masculine and the feminine through the games of seduction according to the acts of the fecamp conference 
the question of women repeatedly raised by Maupassant's criticism receives here some new answers. For Mary Donaldson Evans and Uwe Delthoff, Maupassant is a misogynist. According to the first, he imprisons the woman in the double prison of a status of object defined by the man and of a masculine narrative discourse. And according to the second, if he happens to defend the women's freedom, it is only to better combat bourgeois patriarchalism as well. Misogyny goes in hand with the incomprehension of women. Note that the femininity is a societally construction notion. Beauvoir, Butler and Millet contended that women were subjected to socially constructed notions of femininity perpetuated by a sexual politics deeply ingrained in society. They argued that various aspects of the culture and social institutions contributed to the internalization of women's inferiority, resulting in its psychological entrenchment and reinforcing sexual inequalities while upholding the patriarchal values prevalent in society. Most famous quote from Le Deuxième Sex, The Second Sex by Simone de Beauvoir, is on a ne pas femme on le devient, which translates to one is not born but rather becomes a woman. This quote signifies the women learn to act as expected in their culture's conception of what women should be. The social role of women varies across civilization and eras. The continuation of the quote is as follows. No biological, psychological or economic fate defines the figure that the human female presents in society. It is civilization as a whole that elaborates this intermediary product between the male and the castrate that one qualifies as feminine. Research methodology involves critical literary analysis tools such as close reading and textual analysis were employed into examining the nuances of the narrative, identifying rhetorical devices such as metaphors, similes, irony, antithes, analyzing their impact on gender portrayal within feminist literary criticism, and assessing whether they challenge or uphold traditional norms. Results obtained. Let me quote from the text, Il est charmant cet homme, mais c'est une fille, une vraie fille. He is charming, this man, but he is a girl, a real girl. Because we are all in France, homme fille, that is to say, changeable, capricious, innocently perfidious, without consistency in conviction, or will both violent and weak like women. The study reveals that the author has employed degrading comparisons, liking a group of men with various character flaws to charming little girls, thereby portraying them as fickle, capricious, deceitful, lacking convictions or willpower, violent and weak, exhibiting traits typically associated with women in the era. The story portrays qualities associated with femininity such as changeability, fickleness and emotional volatility as undesirable traits. It suggests that men who exhibit such qualities are problematic and compares them to women, implying that being like a woman is a negative attribute. This reinforces stereotypes about women being emotionally unstable or indecisive, suggesting that exhibiting feminine qualities is a sign of weakness or moral deficiency. This reinforces harmful gender stereotypes and implies that women are inherently flawed. Depending on the relationship of Omfi, they are uncertain. One day they will cherish you, the next day they will barely look at you because they have a nature of girls, a charm of girls, a temperament of girls, and all their feelings resemble the love of girls. So the story portrays the relationship between Omfi and women as tumultuous and emotionally charged. It suggests that women in these relationships are mistreated, cheated on, yet remain emotionally attached to their male partners. The, this portrayal can be seen as demeaning to women and perpetuates harmful 
harmful stereotypes about women's emotional vulnerability. Story, the narrator emphasizes that Omfi are incapable of maintaining solid friendships like women. It is clear that certain behaviors are associated with masculinity and others with femininity. As suggested by a young woman's treatment to her puppy. Let me quote from the text. They treat their friends like the girls treat their little dogs. It is beloved little puppy that they kiss passionately, feed with sugar, lay on the pillow of the bed, but that they will throw away out of the window in a fit of impatience that they spin like a sling while holding it by the tail, that they hug tightly as if to strangle it, and that they plunge into a bucket of cold water without reason. What are the conclusions? The text describes Omphi as having certain traits associated with femininity, such as changeability and emotional volatility, and suggests that these traits are problematic. It does reinforce traditional gender stereotypes about women being emotionally unstable. Comparison between Omphi and women, implying that being like a woman is undesirable or weak. These comparisons can contribute to gender stereotypes and spread harmful notions about gender roles up to today. The story's overall tone conveys a negative perspective on these characteristics, so associating them derogatorily while femininity and questioning the masculinity of men. This depiction therefore suggests both misogynistic and misandristic portrayal of genders described based on prejudices rather than their inherent nature. These are my references. Thank you very much for your attention.